Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use the uh, TI-84 calculator to work with complex numbers, which is a pretty typical skill in Algebra 2 and beyond. Um, first things first, we need to be able to activate the, uh, the um, imaginary number mode, the complex number mode in the TI-84. So I'm going to hit mode up here, and you're going to notice down here I have the option right now to use real numbers, or for the purposes of this activity, when I'm working with complex numbers, I'm just going to scroll over to A plus BI, which is the standard form of complex number, I'm going to hit enter. So now it's highlighted, right? I can hit second quit to get back to the main screen, and now it's as easy as this. What you have to realize is down here, right above the decimal point in blue, which means we're going to hit second in order to use this, it says I. That's for the imaginary number. So it's as simple as this. See problem number one? Go through and do a couple examples here. Use parentheses like they do. One plus three, second decimal point gives me the I plus 3 minus 2 I in parenthesis so it looks just like example 1 over there on the left hand side I hit enter the answer is 4 plus I pretty slick right uh, and the nice thing is, is it works even with distributive property so if I use 2 and then I do 3 plus 4 whoops wrong button oh great Sorry, I'm trying to use keyboard shortcuts that don't work. Two times three plus four second decimal point I minus three times the quantity one plus I. And I'll even do that. The answer is three plus five I. It saves you from distributive property if you don't have to, you know how to do it by hand now. But the really great thing is it does multiplication and division. It works with those I squareds and all those complex properties, right? I can even do, if I want to, I to the, I should have put this on here, but I raised to the uh, 201st power, right? And it'll actually return a number. It's, uh, that, that's scientific um, notation. This is 4.9 times 10 to the negative 12. That's basically zero. That's point zero 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 four nine. So zero plus I a single i. It's the same thing as i to the first power is what it turns out. So if you understand how to read scientific notation, it'll even do stuff like that for you, which sometimes even shows up on the ACT. Um, but I can do, let's follow out example three and four. You could probably stop watching by now if you know how, what you're doing, but basically as long as you use parentheses and we make it look like the setup of the problem. Whoa, what did I do there? Hold on. Let's go through and delete a couple things. Okay. 1 minus 5 I. Okay, here's example number 3. Turns out the answer is 26. Crazy, right? You'll find that out. That's called a complex conjugate. We'll work on that a little bit in class. Last one, it even divides. You just got to be careful. So 1 plus 2 I divided by the quantity 3 minus four i so the trick there was using parentheses around the numbers even though it doesn't have them in the actual problem itself click enter uh, it gave it to me in decimal form actually I'm glad this happened it's a decimal form right so all I have to do then is go to math and I choose option number one which is turn my answer into a fraction and I do it again it's negative one-fifth plus two-fifths i so pretty slick. If you know how to change into the mode, remember we went to mode and we changed to A plus B I mode. If you know how to do that and you know how to type in I, you can do every problem with complex numbers on the TI-84.